Yo, what is up, guys? This is Fallen Bronco back with Black Ops. This time on Theater Mode. Yes, that's now a map. Theater Mode. I'm just going to say that now every time it's Theater Mode gameplay. And, uh, yeah, so we are using the Enfield Dual Mag because uh, I just prestige, so this is pretty much the best gun I have. <laughs> um, it's a good gun. I just wish it had less, uh, less recoil. If it had less recoil, I'd love it. Because the, the, I feel the no scope really responsive with it. And then we have uh, Willie Pete, because I didn't get enough points to change that, or I did, but the things are more important. And then we have Semtex, and that's it. Uh, as you can see, I picked up Commando, and during this match, and the next match, because this is a double commentary, uh, <laughs> I'm actually listening to music, so... The, the, if I ever, if you see me jump like I did right there, uh, that's because I'm kind of getting excited because of the music. <laughs> and that's why it's, it, when I played this, it seemed so fast-paced because I was listening, well, this time I was listening to, uh, Fill Me a Buttercup, but, uh, which is, which is kind of at odds with the, with the song I listened to the next game, which was, uh, Seek and Destroy by Metallica, but, yeah, 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 Buttercup, Seek and Destroy, what's the difference? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is um, the new DLC map, well one of them, Drive-In. Uh, this is probably my favorite one, I really don't like Hangar 18, that one just annoys me. Um, and I'm not sure if Silo is part of the new one, um, I'm, but I, that one's good, I like that one. But I, I definitely do not like Hangar 18. Fairway, yeah I really have no opinion on Fairway. I've never, it's never given me any trouble. And it's never really done anything good for me, so I just kind of don't have an opinion on it. And I did play the uh, zombies map with uh, Billy, Fallen Bill Bob Joe, and uh, the Josh three seven three seven, which is uh, my friend from my old old town where I used to live. And it's uh, it's a good good map. It, it's really it's kind of hard to play solo in my opinion. Um, just because you have to run around, you have to run around so much. It's it's so hard to keep looking at your back and stuff, and it's like impossible to camp if you don't have three or more players with you, because in every situation you're going to have um, either a very short sight line camping by yourself, or you're going to have a window behind you or near you, so it's it's kind of tough to camp. Um, and yeah. So, drive-in. I, li I really like drive-in. I mean, I don't, like, actively enjoy it, as in it's more of a passive enjoyment, like, oh, okay, driving, nice. But, um, it's not like Newtown, where I'm like, yes, or Firing Range, yes! Um, and I like that snowy map, too, I don't, it's not one of the, it's one of the older ones. In fact, it's so old it came out with the game. Um, I forget what it's called. It'll, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. It's not WMD, it's not Grid. Whatever, whatever. It, it'll it'll come back. It'll come back. Um, so for driving, you know, I would recommend a medium range to long range gun. Um, some machine guns I found do not work out too well because of situations like this, where you kind of need a longer range gun to you know take out the opposing forces because it has long sight lines even though it's a smaller map. I mean, you can see that in this part, the only real situation that's be useful, that some machine gun would be useful for it would be running through buildings, clearing them, clearing them, clearing them. But you really don't want to do that. I mean, you want to have versatility and uh, be able to do a multitude of things. Because an assault rifle can handle uh, close quarters relatively well, comparative, comparing it to uh, sniper rifles and um, launchers and uh, crossbows. And... Uh, uh, I don't know, Dra and Dragonop, because Dragonop is not classified as a sniper, it's just that bad. It has its own classification, it's called Dragonop. And then the only gun in that the subcategory is Dragonop. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, the Enfield, definitely probably a good gun for this map. I mean, it's not really long range, but uh, usually you won't have a problem with that unless you're aiming from or towards the billboard or across that large expanse there. Um, yeah, in this game, I'm kind of struggling to use my helicopter, <laughs> and then I don't even get a kill with it. It's just this is madness. And then cheap transition go. That was nice. That really reminds me of Star Wars. I saw Star Wars like two days ago. It's actually pretty good. It's the old one though, not the uh, 
not the prequel, which is technically the newer one, but it's the, the older one, which is in the chronologically the older one. But wait. Oh, that, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's the older one chronologically. The movie is the newer one. I'm sorry, because it was like that, that one where they, uh, Han Solo, or sorry, Han Multiplayer, and, um, Chewbacca, and, uh, Leia, Organ, Organa, sorry, and <laughs> Luke, uh, Luke Cloudwalker, Skywalker, sorry, sorry, um, they all, they attacked this, like, shield generator or some crap, and the Death Star was unprotected or some shit like that, and then they blew it up. I mean, that's gotta be horrible. That's gotta be like 9-11 for the stormtroopers. I mean, come on. That's gotta really, really hurt them. Yeah, that's actually a video on College Humor too. Stormtrooper 9-11, that was funny. I loved that video, so funny. So, firing range, there's really not much to say about it. Uh, it feels good on it though, because again, like just like in drive-in, in, um, drive the only problem you have with it is firing across the center of the map because that's the biggest territory. And it, I think this is where I do something that I'm proud of. Yes, it is. Now, uh, you could call this camping, and it is camping by most people's standards. But when you think about it, really, is it really my fault that I'm getting these kills? Because what I'm doing is I'm just holding down this this area. They don't have to choose to come in here. So, I mean, the number one, number one rule of fighting campers, don't come back when they kill you. Unless, you know, you know where they're going to be and you can just kind of take them out with, like, a grenade or something. But, uh, and then I switch positions. So it's not an entirely campers thing, what you're seeing. And, in fact, it probably greatly helped my teammates and may have prevented a spawn switch. I do not enjoy spawn switches unless they're from your own team because... Usually a spawn switch entails one team getting completely demolished. <laughs> um, whether it be yours or your the other team. Sometimes it can be good even if you lose it because um, if they all rush into you and you all die and but then you spawn in the defensive position that that's useful. But I mean still so usually it's not worth the uh, the kill trade off. Oh, I got crap in my teeth. Oh, I hate my braces. I just had dinner. I just had steak and uh, bread, and then I had a brownie afterwards because I'm seven years old. And that was good brownie, by the way. And now I got steak stuck in my teeth. Oh, braces. Oh, no, I'm protecting you. I got your back. I got your back, teammate. Nothing to worry about. You can see, by the way, in the last last game and this one, I'm trying to pick up weapons. I mean, early. And feels good, but I'd rather have, like, a FAMAS or a freaking commando like I had the first game. Um, oh, and yeah, the reason I, ha I haven't been making videos lately, uh, well, a few days, better than, uh, <laughs> better than my other long streak of not making anything, it's been actually been making a montage with, uh, Metallica song I mentioned earlier, and no, I'm not going to say it, you have to go back in the video and, well, and, and, and see what I said, yes, you have to see it, you can't hear it, you have to see it, and the only way that's possible is if you're doing drugs, but I'm still making you do it. Oh, this, these freaking people, these guys, just, they are freaking terrible. They just keep just walking in, just, just douching around, just letting me get kills. They, they, what are they doing? They don't even know. They can't even pull off a nice grenade or grenade launcher, which aren't, which aren't nice. And then you'll see when I call in my helicopter, the, the guy who kills me, because it is here, see, he, he did a little spin. The other guy does the exact same thing. Just hits a, runs in, hits a wall, does a little spin, and then shoots me. Okay, let's see, here it is. There he is, there he is. He just kind of does a little little look in the wall, look away from the wall. Now, oh, I see you now, and then shoots me. Obviously, he's a PhD in intelligence. Very hard to get that one. The test is very rigorous. I, obviously, have a PhD in intelligence. Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, um, a few days ago, actually, I just came back from camp, summer camp, so that's, oh, you know, I didn't, I haven't been posting videos for like a week and a half, not in a few days, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, uh, well, it's, it seemed like a, week, it's a few days to me, because I wasn't home for like 
a week. <laughs> so you, you really you can only count it as like three or two or three or four or five, six, seven, two, three, four days. So you, you, you guys, you guys understand what I'm talking about. You guys have bachelors in intelligence. Obviously, no one comes close to me. The PhD in intelligence, no, no. So uh, you keep getting a lot of low end challenges here from starting out again after prestiging. This is big decision prestiging. But uh, yeah, so that was the game to kill. It was a helicopter, if you're wondering. And see you next time.